breaking the wall of radio frequency energy harvesting. Alexander C.C. Chu, Falling Walls Lab, Malaysia. Hi, my name is Alexander Chu from the University of Malaya, Malaysia. Today, allow me to break the wall of radio frequency energy harvesting through this presentation. In the fourth era of industrial revolution, the global market size for the Internet of Things, also known as IoT, is forecasted to reach a whopping 1.567 trillion in 2025. There will also be billions of miniature connected devices used in many applications across different economic sectors, such as remote sensing in smart eye culture and in various types of real-time healthcare monitoring system, as you can see in the figures. This rapid growth in the adoption of low-power devices for IoT application has caused researchers to rethink and find alternative solutions whereby powering massive amount of these portable devices using predominantly batteries is a constraint in miniaturizing its physical form factor, limited battery lifespan, and cumbersome maintenance in battery replacement. Not to mention that the disposal of these devices that are meant for low compute jobs is also adding to the problem of e-waste due to the fact that many small connected devices are designed to fail once the battery dies. This has led to a bottleneck for sustainability and scalability for the IoT application which needs to operate 24-7. I believe that radio frequency energy harvesting will be the next leap for providing power autonomously to these ubiquitous low power devices, enabling the wide scale implementation of IoT application in a cost effective and sustainable manner. Together with the UST research team, we are designing and developing a custom integrated circuit for radio frequency energy harvesting system with improved and optimized performance in terms of the dynamic range relative to the conventional type. Due to the varying nature of radio frequency transmission, the performance in dynamic range is critical to uphold the high efficiency of the system for robust operation over a wide range of distances. The contribution in dynamic range from the research is to enhance the interoperability and the adaptability of the energy harvesting system in real-life IoT application. For example, a device for tracking animals like bats in hard-to-reach habitats as illustrated in the figure the wide dynamic range energy harvesting chip can be integrated into the compact tracking system to solve the energy problem and to reduce the costly maintenance. The improvement in the performance for reliable operation is realized through redesigning each of the components which consists of a high gate antenna, impedance matching network, and a highly efficient rectifier to be compatible for integration with a compact overall footprint. Looking forward, continuous research and development activities are extensively being executed in developing a system that could further break the wall of radio frequency energy harvesting. Thank you.